everyone. It's been forever since I've been on YouTube. Um, I just, you know, wanted to chat about some life updates. I'm not sure how many of you are going to be on here, but that's totally fine. Um, we have had a really rough summer with all sorts of things going on. Um, my migraines have been back in full force for the last month or two. And so it has just been a really um, difficult summer in our house. And so I have put reselling a little bit on the back burner, but I'm re starting it, reigniting, reengaging it. Um, and so I'm pretty excited. I think that there are some good things coming up. And um, yeah, so I thought I would just do a shoe haul video for you guys since I have finally gone sourcing and found a whole bunch of stuff. And so I got about 40 pairs of shoes to show you guys today. And I'm just gonna go through them and kind of tell you you know, the brand and why I pick them up and we'll just go through like I normally do. So the first pair are these beautiful Karen Millen um, floral pumps and they're like a canvas and leather and Karen Millen is an English a brand from England. Um, and I just want to make sure that the chat is okay. All right. So um, these are just like a really pretty floral and I know we're going into fall, but they were just so pretty and the price was so good that I didn't want to pass them up. Um, but Karen Millen is an expensive uh, brand from England and I even thought it was cute that they have her name on the little buckles here. It says Karen Millen on the buckles. Um, hi. So these are, I, I want to, Let's see, I bought 40 pairs of shoes and I think the average price of the shoes were $6. So all the shoes I'm gonna show you, the total is going to be six bucks for average price for these. So that, I was really happy about that, but these are a size 41 and they're in really great condition. All right, next up are these Urban Outfitter booties. So they're just a suede. Urban Outfitter, and all of these shoes are already listed on Poshmark and on eBay, so if you wanna make me an offer on them and you want one of these beautiful uh, pairs of shoes in your closet, let me know. Um, so these are some really cute Urban Outfitters um, ankle booties. And you know what, I, I am rebuilding my inventory back up. I, have, I was down to under 200 active items. So I've really been working hard to build it back up from the summer. And so I really tried to get some shoes that were at different price points. I like to have different price points in my closet. I think it brings more people to your closet. This, these are a new brand to me, so... Um, something about this is like the brand of the celebrities on the, his website, but Matt Burnson, and I don't know if you can see the, um, is it upside down? Matt Burnson, that's oh, upside down, I think, but that, this is what they look like. So they're like these blue little suede ankle booties and they've got the double strap around the ankle. Um, and these are a size six, yeah, size six. And these were, it's a soulfully designed in New York, but they are leather. And if you don't already know this, um, oh, that's sweet, thank you. If you don't already know this, the Vero Curio on the bottom of the shoes, I don't know if you can see that, that is not the brand of the shoes. So I've been seeing this on Poshmark where people are putting that as the brand and that just means that they're genuine leather. So these are blue suede. If you need some blue suede booties, I got them for you. All right, next up are nine and I don't normally pick up nine West, but um, these have a wood, like a wood panel on the heel. I don't know, I thought these were gorgeous. So, you know, I picked these up. Um, and so they're high, the heels on these are about five inches. And what I've been, I wanna show you what I've actually been doing with, all right, normally, I use like a clothing, um, I'm trying to see, clothing measuring thing, 
but I have actually been using this like measuring tape thing, like an industrial one. And what I do is when I put the shoe on the on the table over here, like that, when you show the back of the heel, I just take a picture of the standing right next to it. So the buyers can see exactly how high the heel height is. Um, and that way it, um, you know, they just get a better idea and they can actually kind of see the the um, height of it. And then you can also, because this is stiff, it's not soft, like a soft uh, measuring tape. You can just like hold it across and, you know, you can hold it up. So there's other, I think this is so much easier to use than trying to lay them down and put a soft measuring tape on them. Um, this has been an incredible lifesaver lately. So these shoes um, are nine West and they are a size six and a half. They're my size, but I just don't think that um, I can walk in these anymore. They do have a small, there's a very small uh, platform in these, but they are suede. All right. And I don't know if I've ever said this before, but I absolutely love Western style shoes, like cowboy boots and those kind of things. So I picked these up and I actually didn't even, I couldn't see the brand of these shoes in the store, but they're like laser cut uh, floral cowboy boots. And then they have this braiding on the side. So you can see the braiding and then the gorgeous stitching around the, the edges. Um, and they were made in Brazil. Shoes that are made in Brazil are usually really good quality. Um, and so they are leather. These are a size eight and a half, but you can see that they actually um, have these like super cool laser cutout things. You guys see that? I don't know if you could really see it on the video, but they're like these floral, really pretty patch with cutouts. Um, and I really wish these were my size because I would definitely keep them, but they're actually the brand white mountain, which I would never pick up, but these are just so darn cute. Um, I like to pick up vintage cowboy boots. I like to pick up Western shoes, anything that's unique like that. Um, I really, I love picking up those kind of things because first of all, they make me happy. And second of all, I think they deserve to have a good, a new and good home. All right. I have a huge, I don't know if you can see this huge shoe pile in front of me, but we're just going to keep going. Um, I haven't been picking up Zara shoes very often anymore. Um, they just, they weren't selling well for me, but these are like prom, homecoming, wedding, formal kind of shoes. And they've got the, the glitter on the back. So they're blue suede, the navy blue suede, and they've got glitter. Um, and these are a size... 38, which in Zara is a size seven. So one tip I have for you about European sizing is if they have a European sizing, go to the brand's website and look for their exact size chart because Poshmark's European to US size chart is not always correct. So like these are actually a size seven and not a size eight. A 38 would normally be an eight. Um, so you want to make sure that when you're doing European sizes that you are checking the brand's website because like Dansko, for instance, Dansko shoes are whole size only. So if you're in a Dansko, like I wear a 37 in a Dansko, but I can also fit in a 36 and a half shoe. So you, so just when you're doing the, the um, European shoes, you want to make sure that you do that. I picked these up. They weren't very expensive, so I thought I'd take a chance. Um, these were actually like two dollars, so that's why I don't. I and I like the grommets on them, but they're just little guess ankle booties. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I like to pick up shoes that are in different price points. Um, my guess is these will sell for about twenty, twenty-five dollars. But like I said, I paid two dollars for them. They're cute. They're like a basic style. They're like a pointed toe booty. Um, so pick those up. Uh, okay. So next up again, Western style, you'll notice that throughout the theme of the, these shoes, but these Jessica Simpson, these are Jessica Simpson, like cowboy boots and, um, they're extremely well-made. Her stuff is actually very cute. 
but these are barely worn. You can tell by the soles of them that they're very barely worn. They are leather. Um, and another way, another tip that I have for you while I'm going through this is that a lot of brands have shoe names. So if you also don't know this, these are Jessica Simpson Cranaby boots. So if you're looking for information about them, you're not sure if they're leather or, you know, any about anything about the style name, you can search Jessica Simpson Cranaby boots on Google and then you find um, the stuff. But I would think that she's a Texas girl. So my guess is she probably has lots of cute Western boots like this. But, you know, the toes are like a darker cap toe boot. Um, I don't know. They're really adorable. These are size eight and a half, I think. Eight. They're, these are a size eight. Okay. Um, I always pick up Madewell shoes. I forget the name of these, but I did Google them. Now, Madewell and J. Crew normally have numbers in them. And what I found is they like to hide them in the front toe box, under the toe box. They're either on the side here or they're under the front. They're kind of hard to see sometimes. But if you search J. Crew made well and just search, or J. Crew or made well, and you search the number on the shoes, you'll find the exact style and all the information about them. But these are just little like tri strap, tri -strap flats and they're brown suede. These are a nine and a half. And suede is really hard to photograph. So um, it's hard because you brush them and you do all this stuff to them. And then they still have this, like, people will be like, what is that? Is that a mark? And it'll be a shadow or a brush on them. But um, so that's that. Okay, another brand I haven't been picking up very often, but I always do. You know, you always have a, I, always, I don't know about you, but I have a brand. I have brands that I always pick up that don't always sell quickly. But in my mind, they're really high quality shoes. So I feel like someone should be buying them. Um, these are like brand new, almost brand new. Maybe, maybe I've been worn once. Cole Haan uh, Grand OS pumps. And they're black suede with a back leather on leather back on them. Um, and they, you can tell they've barely been worn here. Um, but they're really cute. Um, so they're a size six and a half. And again, on Cole Haan, you, on the side of the shoe, I don't know if you can see that, but like the style for these is W04790. So you can search for that and you'll get the, usually you'll find a stock photo or you'll find other listings that are similar to, to this, that you'll get the name of them. You know, a lot of people that have shoes that they love, especially me, if I know the name of them, I usually search like you know, whatever they are and the name of them, because that I want those exact shoes. So it's important. I think it's important to find the name of the actual shoes. And um, I think it allows, I think it allows you to get more, um, you know, more money for your stuff. Okay. And then we've got these, this is a new brand to me. This is another brand that I picked up and they said made in Italy. So I picked them up, but they are Rangoni, R-A-N-G-O-N-I, Rangoni made in Italy. And the retail price of the shoes on their website range from like hundred to 300 bucks. And these are, you know, cheetah and leopard are in style right now. So these have that little bit of that with the fringe or the kilty, whatever you want to call it on the top here. And they're black suede with a low heel. So they're probably more comfortable. People would wear them um, to work or, you know, just in the fall to be stylish with their cute little leopard accent. So I picked those up. Anytime you see made in Italy, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to sell well. Um, you want to make sure you're researching the brand and see like, you know, are they selling on eBay? Are there even any on eBay or Poshmark? Because sometimes that's a sign that there's not really a good resale value, but it's also a sign that they could be like a coveted shoe. So if the price is right and they're in cute style and they're in good condition, I'll usually pick those up. Okay, this is a this is a perfect example of a pair of shoes that 
I thought were adorable that I would have worn, you know, when I was younger. They gave me my like 90s, 2000 vibes and they're not expensive really, but they're Mia boots. <laughs> they're these like fall looking uh, leather boots with a tassel. Actually, I don't think they're leather. I think these are man-made. I, I, I looked them up online. I don't think, it didn't say in here what they were. Oh wait, yeah, they're man-made. These are not leather, um, but these are the Layla boots and they were really high platform, um, really play, really high heel with a little bit of a platform, but they are adorbs for the fall with some tights and little skinny jeans. These would be so cute. Now it's interesting because if you look for these boots on Poshmark and you search for the solds, there's, I think, five or six pairs that have sold, and they sell for, they've sold for all different prices. So that could mean that, you know, some people were wanting to just get rid of them and they took a lower price, or they were different sizes. So, you know, there were only one pair of these in a size eight. So someone paid $50 for them, but maybe there were three that were size seven, something like that. But, you know, I, I just, there's some nostalgia here, and I think that's why. I picked these up, but they were a really great price. So that also helped me kind of pick them up. All right. And then I got these are Matisse. And um, they're, again, like a moto boot, a cowboy boot style with a croc um, and little ankle booties. But like moto boots, motorcycle boots, ankle booties. Any of those kind of like keywords you'd want to use like Western style, motorcycle, moto. Um, those are kind of the keywords that people search for. And if you do, a, if you do like a Google search and you start saying moto boots or motorcycle boots, it'll give you things that people are searching for. So it kind of gives you an idea of other keywords or phrases to put in your listing photos. Um, yeah, I, so the five inch, yeah, it is really a lot more difficult nowadays to sell the higher heels. I feel like people aren't buying them as much anymore. Um, but I'm hoping that, um, you know, they're cute and it might take a little bit longer for them to sell, but I think they need a good home. I don't know. I just thought they were adorable. All right. Next up, these are another pair of vintage Western boots. And I'm kind of bummed because they look kind of dingy in this light from on the picture, but they're like a hot pink suede Western booty. Um, and so these are just little ankle booties. They are, it says, exclusively um, made for Lord and Taylor. Um, and so you can see they've got a pointed toe on them. And they're pretty cute. Can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear them cleaning? Should I shut my should, should I shut the door? Uh, if, if anybody can comment if you can hear them cleaning, let me know and I'll shut the door. It's hard to tell what I can hear and what you guys can hear. Okay, another pair of um, ankle booties are these Western style Arteva boots, and these are little ankle booties with heels. Um, again, these are made in Brazil and this is a Claudia boot, but you know, they look like they've barely been worn. They are that Western style with the little tip here and, um, they've, they've got a chunkier lower style heel and Arteva is another brand that if you look up, they're kind of like medium priced expensive. So they're not, you know, Gucci level, but they're still over a hundred dollars usually retail. Okay, another Western pair. <laughs> these are Cold Hans, and I've these are a older style of Cold Han, and you can tell by the logo. So this is the older Cold Han logo, but these are in excellent condition. They are a Western meal with the laser cutout, and they've got the blue with the gold and the grommets on them. And these are actually a size six and a half, so I was gonna try to keep them. But these are suede. Um, and they've got this low heel here. So, you know, and they're, they're in beautiful condition. I mean, the heels aren't even, a lot of the times the toes will all be scuffed up, but these are not even at all scuffed up. They're really good shape. 
Okay, this is a brand that I should not have. These are like a pair where you get home and you're like, why did I buy these? Um, partially, again, I'm, I've been getting into nostalgia lately. I don't know what it is, but these are shoes that I definitely would have worn to high school. And they're that chunky heel with the kind of squoval toe and the, with the fringe or the kilty on the, t on the toe here. And they're kind of like a little penny loafer, but they're patent leather. They're again, in excellent condition. There's no scuffs or scrapes on them. And these are a size six. So they're just like a tan patent leather. The brand is Levity. I think they sell them at Macy's. They're not, they're, uh, they're not extremely expensive, but they're super cute. And you know, like 90s stuff is coming back. Um, the square toe I just saw on who, what, where is the new thing. So remember those rampage, I th I'm pretty sure I had these like rampage boots and they had the square toe with the, like, the round edges. Um, and looking back, they're so ugly, but, um, <laughs> they're coming back. So these like shoes with these big square toes. Okay. Another pair of brand that I don't find very often is Dune London. So you can see this is the brand, uh, Dune is the brand and these are freaking adorable. They're patent leather. They're a size 38. And I believe I looked these up too, and they were a size seven. So um, these are really, really like, ex like again, barely worn. The bottoms have a little bit of mark, but they're not even divoted or anything. So I, I just had to pick these up. And if I could wear high heels anymore, I would keep these. Um, and I think they were, if you look, you know, sometimes you look this stuff up and it'll say, blogger favorite or they'll be featured in some magazine these were featured in some uk london website for like shoes to wear to weddings all right what else do we have oh let me tell you how mad i am at nordstrom rack though i went to wear these shoes that i just got for myself and i put them on and they're definitely like three sizes difference so now i have to return these to nordstrom rack but these are a size seven and the other one is size like nine. And the woman, I watched her check all of the shoes. So the fact that she missed it and I missed it, I was like, that's so annoying. But so these have to go back. But Louise at Sea is like a really, they're not really expensive, but they're in a decent price at Nordstrom. But they're really high quality shoes. They don't have a great resale value. But if you're looking for shoes for yourself, um, you can usually get them at really good prices on resale sites um, because like I said, they don't, people aren't like really searching for them and they don't have a high value, but for your own personal collection, like these are at Nordstrom Rack, I think on clearance were like $23. So, well now I know that's probably because they were different sizes and no one was buying them, but needless to say, they were a pretty good price. Okay. I just did a whole video on my Patreon group. Um, about men's shoes and what I look for in men's shoes, how to, what I, you know, what to search for, what brands that I like to buy. But these are Allen Edmonds and they were very cheap because I don't think people knew um, what they were. So let's see. So these are like Allen Edmond men's loafers. Um, they're a huge size. They're 15, so they're going to take a minute to sell. But um, they're in really good shape. The heels are in good shape, um, and the leather is in great condition. So Allen Edmonds are definitely shoes that you want to look out for. Um, and I have another. These are another pair of Allen Edmonds that I picked up, and these have more creases in the toe box. So they probably you know, they're not going to sell for as much as the shoes that look like they're brand new or they haven't been worn. Um, these are the Hillcrest loafers um, and they're a size 11 D. So they're, they were just a little, I actually bought these for Aaron, but they're just a little bit too tight on his toes. So I'm going to go ahead and sell them. And I've got a great price for those. Donald Pliner, again, another pair of shoes that some of them resell for a lot. Some of them are do not resell. These were very inexpensive. So I picked these up. They're a size seven and they're quilted. 
um, they're a quilted, I don't know if you can see that, but this is like a quilted fabric and then they have this patent cap toe on them with like a lower heel. So in my mind, these would be like a professional work shoe or someone who's just, you know, wants a dressier shoe to wear that's a little bit more comfortable, that's a lower heel. Um, and so these are a size seven. But the problem that I found with them when I got home is I didn't notice the, um, I didn't notice the scuffs on the on the toes as much. So I just put, I dabbed a little bit of black marker. Or you can use um, black um, black shoe dye, shoe polish, and then I just buffed them. So you can still see that they're scraped, but you can't see the you can't see it under them. <laughs> Okay, so then I have these Lucky Brand little wedges, espadrille wedges. So nothing fancy, but again, in great condition. Lucky Brand shoes seem to sell well for me, and they sell quickly. I know. Poor Louie. Louie's had a rough. He's not eating his regular food. He wants soft food, and then it gives him a stomach ache. So we've had a rough go the past couple days with Louie. But um, so anyway, these are a size... seven and a half and they're a Tomlin. So they're the Tomlin espadrille wedges. Okay. Next up are these, these are still on the Saludos website and they're a leather espadrille. Um, again, look like they've barely been worn size eight and um, yeah, just little leather espadrilles, nothing fancy. And they sell Saludos at different places. They sell them at Nordstrom Rack. They sell them at Nordstrom. They sell them at Anthro. So they sell them at different places. You just have to really watch with these, just like any espadrilles that you like twist them and bend them and make sure that the stitching isn't coming apart or there's not glue all over them because that, you know, that can affect them. And, you know, obviously you don't want people buying shoes and they fall apart when they wear them. Okay, these, now I bought some suede cleaner to try to clean these up a little bit more, but if you don't know, Sea Wonder is a brand that um, is a, okay, let me see if I get this right. Sea Wonder is Tory Burch's ex-husband's defunct brand that um, was gonna do you know, whatever, he was gonna have his own brand, but then it failed, but they have really cute stuff. And so these are giraffe, let's see the little giraffe guy, but they're suede, like slip on, um, they're like suede, just slip on driving shoes. Um, but I just wanna clean up, they've just got a little bit of marks on them. And I tried to use my little, I have this tool thing that you can get on Amazon, I think it's $6. And it's got the rubber on it and, little brush but i bought some actual like suede cleaner so i'm gonna try to to get that going all right we're almost done these are dance goes just plain old dance goes and i wish these were my size because i would keep them i'm i'm becoming that woman that wears dance goes i love them um but these are a size 38 so they're like a seven and a half or eight they i'm i've really only started buying i used to buy dance goes all the time no matter what the condition, unless the heel was falling apart, I would buy them. I would pay up for them. Um, it seems to be that everyone has been buying them, so they're leveling off in price. They're not selling as quickly as they used to. So I'm only picking up ones that I think are different. They're not like the typical just black dance go clogs. Or the white ones do sell, though. If you find a white, because a lot of nurses wear the white shoes. Um, so if you find the white ones... Um, they are in good shape and the heels are good pick those up but the but otherwise I try to get you know like a cuter style this is another these are another example of dance goes um, these are like a green nubuck and they have the ankle straps on them but they're different you know they're just like a different style they're not a crazy they're not crazy or anything hey can you shut that door for me Thank you so oh, you okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so these are um, 
Bernie Mev shoes, and they sell these at Nordstrom. I, I don't exactly know what these are. They're not like, I don't know if they're recycled bottles or whatever they are, like Rothy's, but they're this kind of like flexible. These are supposed to be able to fold up and go in your purse. Um, but they, you know, they don't retail for a lot, but they're like comfortable walking shoes and people are always looking for those. So I did pick these up and they're a size 38 too. Um, but they're just bronze. And again, I've really been trying to pick up shoes that don't need a lot of work. So as long as I can just quickly take the, the paint off of them, it's totally fine. All right, next up are <laughs> these um, Banana Republic calf hair, pony hair, um, camo Diorce flats. So these are camo Banana Republic. Camo is in, so camo, I got camo. I also have a pair of uh, Cheetah Banana Republic that I listed in my closet last week or Monday maybe. So you got these guys going on. Oh, this is, are these, yeah. And then I got these dance goes. So these are another pair that are like different, you know, they don't look like the clogs, um, but they're black suede with the, like the leopard or tor I guess this is more tortoise. So it's like a tortoise on them, the patent leather with the little cute buttons. Um, these are a size 30 or 49, sorry, 49s. I don't know why I bought these. <laughs> you ever get home and you're just like, why do you buy those? I would think I was mesmerized by the feathers on these shoes and I'm hoping that some gal will wear these to prom or homecoming or oh, something, some kind of fancy party or night out. But they're Johnny Beanie, which is a Dillard's brand. And actually the Johnny Beanie is pretty expensive. So um, these are like, they have these rhinestone balls on them. And then there's these feathers, right? So there's these pretty feathers. Um, and they're just, Really, they're really pretty, but I'll show you what I did. They were missing one of these black, see, I can't even find it now. They're missing one of these black rhinestones and it was exposing like a silver circle. Um, and see, I can't even find it, but the silver circle, so you can see these are like circular rhinestones and one of them had fallen out. I just took the black permanent marker and colored. I can't even find the one that was missing. So it doesn't, so the silver one really stood out because the, you know, the stone had fallen out of them. Um, and so it really looked like there was a circular silver thing sticking out. So I just took a marker and, and put it in there. But they're satin. These are a size nine and a half. And they've got the little platform. So they're platform, they're really high heels. But I just loved the feathers. I don't know. I'm really trying to pick up different stuff lately. I just, I don't know. Um, these are J. Crew ballet flats, size 11. I've, again, J. Crew stuff has been hit or miss lately. I used to sell their shoes all the time. They would sell really quickly. Um, but now these are, if you don't know this trick, in the, um, Actually, these are J. Crew too. Yeah, I can think I can show you. So the J. Crew factory shoes under J. Crew right here will have two dots on them, and that's how you know they're J. Crew factory versus J. Crew shoes. Um, and I think I said on the Madewell shoes that you really have to look under the toe part for the numbers on some of these shoes. So these are. They like to stick them under the toes. Oh no, this one's on the side. So this one's on the side. So this is the J Crew. That is the shoe number for this, for the shoe. So you can take this shoe, say J Crew polka dot ballet flat and put this number in. And typically these shoes will show up. You want, you know, you'll be able to find the name of them and you'll be able to find all that stuff. So I got two pair of J Crew ballet flats. These guys and the ones with the elastic around the sides. Okay, I got these um, Salvatore Ferragamo shoes. And if anyone has any tips or suggestions for 
figuring out if they're like crocodile or reptile or whatever they are, can you put it in the comment section for me? Cause I, that's one thing that I am not very good at is like these reptile, not fabrics, but leather, or I guess it would be leather. Uh, you know, like, what is this? Is this snake? Is this reptile? Is this crocodile? Is this a lizard? What is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is, but it's definitely some kind of thing. And then the other thing is these didn't have, I think because they're older, they didn't have a number on the side. So I couldn't really look up these. I couldn't find these shoes. Okay. Sperry is also not a brand that I pick up all the time, but these are, again, like a new book kind of leather. They're a purpley color, but they're a wedge. The inside is very soft on these. I've never really felt an inside of a Sperry that feels like this, but you know, they're just like wedge ankle booties. And so again, I, you know, the bottoms are in really good shape. Oh, these are a size. I don't know what size these are. I'm gonna say they're an eight. Most, a lot of the shoes that I picked up this week were a size eight. All right, another pair of, another brand. So Born are, comf they're, I think they're called like comfort walking shoes and that's Born is the brand. Born has another brand called BOC and it's, this is it, it's B.O.C. And these are also like comfortable walking shoes and people will buy these. They, this is a brand that people do purchase. They like this, especially like angle boots or booties, things like that. So these are just BOC mules, nothing fancy, just some cute little leather mules, but they're comfortable. It seems to be the trend nowadays is moving from those high heels that people can't walk in to the lower, more comfortable like walking shoes. Okay, last up are Dolce Vita. And a tip about this brand is there's Dolce Vita, which is their higher end brand. And then they have DV Dolce Vita, which is the lower, which is like, you know, banana gap. And then they have um, DV and Target now. So in the shoe, it will say Dolce Vita. There, it will actually say Target in them. So make sure when you're picking up the Dolce Vita shoes that you pick up the actual DV or Dolce Vita because if they're the Target ones, they're not going to sell for as much. Because these are probably 120 I would say maybe maybe more in the retail store, but they're that like reversible sequin mermaid style silver gold shoe um, with a high heel. These are size nine. Um, but you just want to pay attention to make sure that they're the actual, because they sell these at like Saks and Bloomingdale's. Um, maybe not Saks, but they do sell them at Bloomingdale's because I've purchased a pair of ankle booties on sale. Um, but they, you know, so they are sold in the higher end department stores. Um, but the Target ones obviously are not. They're sold at Target. So this is um, one of the last pairs. Now, I have also purchased um, two, our Salvation Army, I don't know what the heck they put on the bottom of these shoes. But I cannot, I'm normally a ninja when it comes to getting this stuff off of the bottom of shoes. But they have used like paint. It's, it looks like, I don't know if you can see that. You can't really tell what it is from there. But it looks, at first I thought it was a chalk marker. So one of those chalk markers that you put on the, like a black chalkboard that you see brands and um, retail stores putting like welcome, sale, whatever. So I, I have tried almost everything to get these off and I, and you can see it's like embedded into the shoe. So these are going to take me a minute to get off. So that's why they were put off to the side because I just could not, is it a paint marker? I don't know, but I've tried acetone. So in my little arsenal here, I, I tried this stuff, which is the Angelus easy cleaner, which is for, um, all sorts of different like fabrics and stuff. And then I have my cheapy acetone that I use. Um, and I have Goo Gone, which I use. I also have 
wipes, which I use. I have a nail file drill, which I use. And these, so this, I, tr I did get the, I did finally scrub this. So I got most of it off, but I had to use like a bra. I mean, it was hard work, but this will not come. I don't know about this. So this is going to be an interesting experiment to figure out how to get this off because it's crazy. Um, I don't know. No, I've tried all that stuff. I've tried, I've tried it all. So I'm going to have to see if I can, I don't know. Cause the problem is I can kind you can kind of get it off with like really super muscle, but it's still showing. So I'm going to have, I don't know. I'll give you an update once I figure out how to get this off. But I, and then the problem with the, like these J crew flats is that it actually embeds into the rubber. So once it's like embedded into the rubber of the shoe or embedded into the pla the patent leather, it's extremely hard to get out. So um, I don't know, this one I scrubbed and then I tried to put a black marker over it. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what I can get, but you can see it's still on the heel here. Anyway, so these are all listed. Um, I have been working really hard to build my store back up. I said at um, beginning of the video, just I haven't been on here much. We've had a really rough summer. Um, we weren't really sure if my husband was going to have a job all summer. And um, then we then his boss left. And so now it's like in limbo. Does he have a job? Does he not have a job? I don't know. We don't know what's going on. So the whole summer we were kind of preparing to move home back to Ohio and then he's never lost his job. So I downsized it on my inventory and it kind of led me to be depressed because I wasn't focusing on my business and I wasn't really doing anything. I was just trying to wait out this whole major life change that we had coming. And um, you know, that really was awful. So anyway, we are just still in limbo, but I've decided to, you know, take control of the situation and not allow the situation to control me. So that's what we're doing. And it's working out a lot better this way. Um, but anyway, I always love when you guys come and watch me and give me tips. And I hope to be back more often now that we're kind of, you know, trying to get life figured out. But um, if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, please do. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked our video or my content or the shoes or whatever. Um, but obviously, I appreciate everything. So now I have to go list all the clothing that I bought um, this week to fill up in my closet. So thank you guys always for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and Posh Fest is in a couple weeks, so you definitely see me with all of the Posh Fest updates. All right, bye guys.